Welcome back to Simplifying Synthesis. In this video, we are going to look at the total synthesis of malatinins C and E. This work was published in Orglet by Nariyoshi Omakubo and Satoshi Yakushima. Malatinin C was first isolated in 2005 from stromata of a hypoxylon fungus growing on dead aspen logs. Malatinin E, on the other hand, was isolated in 2014, this time from a cladosporium fungus. The initial studies into the properties of these compounds have shown that malatinin E has some anti-cancer activity, and this makes it an attractive target for total synthesis. Though the compounds are relatively small, the structures are quite interesting, as they contain a seven-membered tropane ring. This is fused to a six-membered pyran, which is joined to a five-membered ring via a spirocyclic acetal. These two saturated rings bear four contiguous stereocenters. It is the stereochemistry of carbon-13 that differentiates malatin C and E. The strategy to synthesize these molecules involves a ring expansion to form the tropane ring, an oxidative cyclization to form the fused pyran, and an organocatalyzed aldol reaction to set the stereochemistry of carbon-13. To form malatinin E, they would first oxidize the hydroxyl group and then reduce it to invert stereochemistry. So let's dive into the synthesis. This started with a Wolf-Kishner reduction of an aldehyde. Hydrazine first reacts with this aldehyde to form a hydrazone, and this is then deprotonated by potassium hydroxide. This forms a nitrogen-nitrogen double bond with a negative charge residing on the carbon center, which is then protonated by the solvent. Further deprotonation promotes the elimination of nitrogen gas and leaves a negative charge residing on the benzylic position. This is once again protonated by the solvent to complete the reduction and form the methyl group. Taking this forward, the ring was then brominated using NBS. This is an electrophilic brominating reagent that is attacked by the position para to the hydroxyl group. A proton is then eliminated to restore aromaticity and complete the bromination. In the next step, the hydroxyl group was protected using tips chloride and imidazole, forming the product in an 88% yield over three steps. This compound was then taken forward to a nitromethylation reaction. Palladium first undergoes oxidative insertion into the carbon bromine bond. This complex then reacts with a nitromethane anion that is formed by the deprotonation of nitromethane by cesium carbonate. Reductive elimination of the resulting palladium species forms a new carbon-carbon bond, completing the synthesis of the Michael donor in an 84% yield. To synthesize the Michael acceptor, they first carried out an organocatalyzed aldol addition. The reaction of the aldehyde with a chiral prolidine catalyst first forms an aminium ion that eliminates, generating an enamine. This enamine is nucleophilic and attacked the aldehyde, preferentially adding from one phase. It has been proposed that a hydrogen bond between the catalyst and the aldehyde acceptor helps orientate the electrophile and increase the stereoselectivity. The hydrolysis of the resulting aminium species forms the aldehyde that was then reduced with sodium borohydride, forming the target diol in an 88% yield with a greater than 95% EE. Taking this forward, the primary hydroxyl group was selectively protected using TBS chloride. This is quite a bulky protecting group and the steric hindrance means that it preferentially reacts with the more accessible primary hydroxyl group. With this in place, they then installed a vinerb amide. The turbo Grignard reagent first reacts with dimethyl hydroxyl amine, and the resulting nucleophile adds to the ester, eliminating ethoxide to form the vinerb amide. The secondary hydroxyl group was then protected using PMB bromide, and they then carried out a Grignard addition to the vinerb amide. Isopropenyl magnesium bromide adds to the vinerb amide, forming an alkoxide intermediate. This can coordinate to the magnesium, and the complex is stabilized by further coordination to the N-methoxy group. This complex is stable at low temperatures and is hydrolyzed upon quenching the reaction. This allows for only a single addition to occur to the amide, as typically the alkoxide intermediate will collapse during the reaction and a second addition into the ketone will occur. With the enone now formed, they could carry out a Michael addition to link the two fragments together. Fragment 1 is first deprotonated by DBU, 
and the resulting anion undergoes Michael addition into the enone. This formed the new carbon-carbon bond in an 80% yield. As this reaction forms two new chiral centres, four diastereomers were formed without any significant selectivity. This mixture was taken forward to the next step, which was a deprotection followed by cyclization. Reacting the compound with triethylamine trihydrofluoride deprotects the TBS group and the newly revealed primary alcohol undergoes a spontaneous cyclization to form a five-membered hemiacetal. This reaction also forms a new chiral center with a 4 to 1 mixture of acetyl isomers, resulting in eight diastereomers in total. In the next step, the compound was reacted with bis trifluoroacetoxy iodobenzene. This is first attacked by the phenolic hydroxyl group, eliminating trifluoroacetate and forming a new oxygen iodine bond. This activates the aromatic ring towards nucleophilic attack by the hydroxyl group of the acetal. This attacks at the position para to the activating group, forming a six-membered ring in a 36% yield, accompanied by the deprotection of the PMB group. This nucleophilic addition can occur from either face of the ring, forming a new chiral centre. It was at this point that the desired diastereomers were separated and taken forward to the ring expansion. The compound was reacted with DBU, which once again deprotonates the molecule on the carbon bearing the nitro group. This then undergoes a Michael addition into the dienone, forming a three-membered ring. Instead of the more common reprotonation, this enoxide intermediate instead undergoes a ring expansion, which breaks open the cyclopropane, generating the seven-membered ring. This then eliminates the nitro group, forming the desired tropone in an 82% yield. With the tropone ring now formed, a simple demethylation using magnesium iodide completed the synthesis of malatinin C with 99% yield. In order to synthesize malatinin E, they needed to invert the stereochemistry of the secondary hydroxyl group. They initially tried a mitz noble reaction, however this was unsuccessful, so instead they used an oxidation reduction strategy. The compound was first oxidized using desmartin periodinane, which is attacked by the hydroxyl group, eliminating acetate, which then acts as a base to deprotonate the molecule, completing the formation of the ketone. This was then reduced using lithal. This attacks from the less sterically hindered bottom face of the ring, forming the new alcohol in a 58% yield. As before, magnesium iodide could be used to demethylate the compound, completing the synthesis of malatinin E in a 99% yield. So with the synthesis complete, let me take this opportunity to thank the sponsor of this week's video, Brilliant. Brilliant is a website and app that offers highly visual and interactive lessons for a wide range of STEM subjects, including chemistry. Inspired by the recent work that I covered by the Newhouse Group, who used artificial neural networks to guide novel chemical synthesis, I have been using the Brilliant platform to gain more of an understanding of computer science and machine learning. I really like how Brilliant's courses are structured in such a way that you can start from the very basics and quickly progress using small, bite-sized interactive lessons that allow you to gain an intuitive understanding of key concepts. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, please visit brilliant.org slash simplifying synthesis. The first 200 viewers to sign up will get a 20% discount off Brilliant's premium annual subscription. So head on over to brilliant.org slash simplifying synthesis to check it out.